In the heart of Verona, a city renowned for its artistic heritage, Paolo Farinati emerged as a painter par excellence, his name echoing the grandeur of contemporaries like Tintoretto and Veronese. Amongst his illustrious oeuvre, the Adoration of the Magi, circa 1585, stands as a testament to his artistic prowess and innovative spirit. The painting unfolds amidst the hauntingly beautiful backdrop of ancient ruins, columns that once stood as symbols of power and majesty now serve as silent witnesses to a divine encounter. Mary, resplendent in her grace, sits upon a capital with the Christ child cradled in her arms an embodiment of celestial serenity amidst earthly decay. To the left, kings from distant lands are rendered powerless by the divine presence before them. Their mounts, horses and a camel echo their master's awestruck silence. Servants and even a dog are caught in this moment of ethereal revelation, every gesture meticulously crafted by Farinati to amplify the painting's dynamism. Joseph and the donkey stand to the right, silent observers to an event that transcends human comprehension. The extended arm of a young man punctuates this symphony of adoration, every eye is drawn towards Jesus, even that of an ass. Farinati's genius lies not just in his ability to capture this celestial moment with arresting realism but also in his skillful orchestration of gestures and gazes that guide viewers through an intricate dance between earthly kingship and heavenly authority. Crafted around 1565, the adoration of Magi is not just another masterpiece but is Farinati's visual sonnet, where divine grace meets human adulation amidst echoes of ancient grandeur, each brushstroke weaving together elements both eternal and transient, 